Good afternoon, Cross Timbers. Today is Tuesday, April 13th, 2021, and I am Payne Fanning. Tarleton's Observatory Star Party canceled, COVID-19 cases still rising, Wyoming football recruit shot, and more, all coming up on Texan TV. In campus news, Tarleton, Tarleton's Observatory Star Party is canceled. The virtual party was going to happen this Friday at the Tarleton State Observatory. Guests would have been able to view stars from the 32-inch telescope. Due to the weather concerns, the cloudy skies will make it difficult to view. Officials say the next star party won't be until October or November. In local news, the Empire Tribune reports that COVID-19 cases have risen by four in the past week. Three of those positive COVID-19 cases were in Stephenville, and one was outside of Stephenville, but in the county. The Moderna vaccine is available to anyone 18 years of age and older, and the Pfizer vaccine is available to those 16 years to 18 years old. Vaccines are available to Erath County residents at the Erath County Vaccination Center at 2900 West Washington Street. Vaccinations are free for everyone. Contact the clinic at 254-459-5053 to schedule an appointment or register online at erathcounty.quickbase.com. And now, today's Texas national and international news from the Associated Press. Tony Evans, Jr., a senior football player at Lancaster High School who just signed to play with a school in Wyoming, was shot to death near Dallas Love Field early Sunday morning. Evans, who was 17, died at the hospital after the shooting. Another person who police have not identified was wounded in the shooting. Nobody has been arrested and the motive is still not known. In national news, the defense for a former Minneapolis police officer charged in George Floyd's death was set to start presenting its case today following 11 days of a prosecution narrative that combined wrenching video with clinical analysis by medical and use of force experts to condemn Derek Chauvin's actions. A professor at the University of South Carolina School of Law judged Chauvin's actions against what a reasonable police officer in the same situation would have done and repeatedly found that Chauvin did not meet the test. Prosecutors called their final witness Monday, leaving only some administrative matters before they were expected to rest today. Once the defense takes over, Chauvin's attorney is expected to have his own experts testify that it was Floyd's drug use and bad heart, not Chauvin's actions, that killed him. In international news, the Indian city of Pune is running out of ventilators as COVID-19 pa patients rise in its hospitals. Social media is full of people searching for beds while relatives throng pharmacies looking for an antiviral viral medications that hospitals ran out of a long, a long ago. The surge, which can be seen across India, is particularly alarming because the country is a major vaccine producer and a critical supplier to the UN-backed COVAX initiative. That program aims to bring shots of some of the world's poorest countries with cases rising, the virus has caused India to focus on satisfying its domestic demand and delay deliveries to COVAX and elsewhere, including the United Kingdom and Canada. For more of today's national and international news, we turn to the AP News Minute. This is AP News Minute. Authorities in Brooklyn Center, Minnesota, used gas canisters and flashbang grenades to disperse hundreds of protesters on Monday night. It was the second straight night of clashes after an officer fatally shot a black man during a traffic stop. The Brooklyn Center Police Chief says an officer apparently meant to use a taser, not a handgun, when she shot Dante Wright. Body camera video shows the officer shouting, I'll tase you, as police tried to arrest Wright. Former Minneapolis police officer Derek Chauvin's attorneys begin presenting their case on Tuesday. The defense hasn't said if Chauvin will testify about George Floyd's death. President Biden says he's prepared to negotiate with Republicans over his $2.3 trillion infrastructure proposal. Republicans say they're concerned about the plan's price tag and priorities. 
Rita Foley, the Associated Press, with AP News Minute. In sports, today at 3 p.m., the Tarleton women's tennis team will play against UT Permian Basin in Odessa, Texas. Be sure to support the Texans. Also today, Tarleton Baseball will be playing the number 10 team, Texas Christian University, at Lupton Stadium in Fort Worth at 6.30 p.m. Tarleton's last matchup against TCU took place on April 6th. That game resulted in a loss for Tarleton with a score of 9-13. to You can listen to this game live at KXTR 100.7 FM radio. You can also follow the live stats through the Tarleton Sports app or the Tarleton Sports website. And now for weather, we turn to Morgan Rhodes. Hi Texans, I'm Morgan Rhodes and here's your daily weather update. Today you have a high of 72 and a low of 54 with cloudy skies. Tomorrow you have a high of 64 and a low of 52 with a 50% 50, 50 chance of rain. Thank you, Texans. This has been a production of the Texas TV, Texan TV News, a product of the Texan News Service from the Tarleton State University campus in Stephenville, Texas. Watch us live on Apogee Channel 2.1 in the dorms at 12.30 weekdays. If you live off campus, tune in on Northland Cable Channel 9. You can follow the Texan News Service on Facebook and Twitter and check out our website at www.texannews.net for all of your latest local, state, national, and international news. Today's broadcast was produced by Gabriela Cortez, Sheridan Haley, and Morgan Rhodes. Have a wonderful day, Texans.